Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mind and it's trying to do something different today because uh, you know I want to show you some tips and tricks about how to make sure Sony Vegas doesn't crash on you. It doesn't go down, all your hard work is going for nothing because it happens a lot. You know I, I, I keep talking to people saying I don't like Sony Vegas, you know it crashes all the time and it, it, I just lose all those hours of hard work I invested in. And there are some tips and tricks that I use uh, which make sure you don't lose your footage and you don't lose any of the uh, any of the awesome stuff that you're about to make, and uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't it, it generally doesn't say anywhere it doesn't it shouldn't be like that. But you know it's Sony Vegas. It does many things. So as you can see right now, I got my standard project set to 1280 by 720. It doesn't really matter what your project is set to, is set to because as soon as you drop in the footage, which I have right here, which is some um, prop hunt footage. Um, it goes to 1920 by 1080, so that means that it is in 1080p. Um, this is well and good because you really need that video to be in 1080p to get the best recording quality and put it on YouTube so people really like the quality of your videos. Okay, good. Now, of course, always disable resample. You know this to get the best quality on your videos. The problem now, however, if you save it, which you absolutely, absolutely should, as often as you can, is uh, sometimes when, let's say, Sony Vegas crashes or you close it down and you try to open it again and the file is still in 1080p, it sometimes doesn't open or when it opens it crashes instantly and it gives like a red screen or a green screen or something and basically you can't open your file and you're pretty much done for. So. That is really annoying and the way to get around with that is um, what I do at least is um, whenever I'm editing my videos I don't edit in 1080p I go to my project properties and I make sure that the project I'm using is actually in 720p so I'm actually saving it in 720p and I'm using it to edit in 720p because there's really no point in in you know watching this screen in editing in 1080p because it is all fine and well um, whenever you're saving it right now it always should open if you're in 1280 by 720 and if you just want to you know get it back to 1080 again you can just render it out uh, into uh, into a specific template that you've made for 1080p I use Windows Media Video um, template I use for the video bitrate is quality VBR uh, Windows Media 9 and then quality 83 percent and uh, that way you're gonna get a little bit bigger files than mp4 but you gotta get a better quality for it so um, yeah that is basically uh, the thing that I want to give with you about the saving uh, make sure that um, if you're using picture in picture and a lot of text um, you're gonna jeopardize you know the uh, the stability of Sony Vegas if you're gonna do like uh, like many kinds um, of text like insert text media and then uh, just let us wait for it to load there there it is my god that takes so long okay so you got sample text and you're gonna do another one and another one and another one and you're gonna be cropping it around all over the place and uh, right there and then there's one right there one right there one right there it's not gonna it's not gonna work that great because uh, it all means extra rendering for Sony Vegas if you're um, Rendering out a video uh, and it is very long uh, try to do it in steps try to um, Make sure uh, like render different parts of a video out and then you can finally put it together and uh, Like the like the rendered versions and then re-render the whole thing again, and it should actually work a lot better uh, Which I generally use for my armor 2 videos uh, armor 3 videos um, those require the, the most amount of processing power for Sony Vegas uh, a lot more than uh, like let's say Half-Life or Prop Hunt or something like that. That's all well and good. Um, but yeah, that is basically the tips I want to give to you. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. If you like this video, leave a like rating. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Later.